Hello friends, this video on principles of inheritance part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. With this, let us quickly distinguish between the cystic chromatids and the homologous chromosomes because they many of people get confused with these two terms. Many of them think that both are the same thing, but actually they are not. So they are two different things and you actually should know the exact difference between the two. So when we talk about homologous chromosomes, what do we say? What are they? As, as I have mentioned before also about homologous chromosomes, they are a set of one maternal and one paternal chromosome. So when we talk about homologous chromosomes, we are actually talking about for every trait, one copy is contributed by the father and one copy is contributed by the mother right so a set of homologous chromosome would look somewhat like this let me suppose this is one chromosome this is another chromosome now both of these can be homologous chromosome maybe this one is the paternal chromosome that is it is contributed it has come from the father and this is the maternal chromosome because it has come from the mother so here if you see these chromosomes are still not duplicated. This is like a single chromosome, right? So they are unduplicated homologous chromosomes and these two are homologous chromosomes. Now when we say homologous, homo means same. So these two chromosomes will have same shape, same size and they will also have the same type of gene at the same location. So if this chromosome has a gene here which corresponds to hair color, so this chromosome will also have a gene here which will correspond to hair color. If this chromosome has a gene here which corresponds to eye color, this chromosome will also have a gene here which will correspond to eye color. But the values or their forms might be a little different. Maybe this, this gene for hair color here says black and this gene for hair color says brown. So that is possible. But it has to carry the same type of gene at the same location on the chromosome. So these are homologous chromosomes. So they carry the same sequence of gene as I said. So whichever type of gene is present at whichever location on one chromosome, the same sequence has to be present on the homologous chromosome. Alleles of the genes may be same or different as I mentioned before also. Now the alleles can be same or it can be different. For example, if an individual has a BB, so B maybe is for black hair and small b is maybe suppose for brown hair. So this black hair allele, it says the value of the gene here, right? Similarly, this small b says the value of the gene here. So the alleles can be same. I mean, the value also can be same on both maternal and on paternal, but it can be different also. They pair up with each other during meiosis. Now the homologous chromosomes during meiosis, what happens during meiosis? That is what we will see here. That's, it, is, it has been seen that there is some sort of combination even between the homologous chromosomes. And that is why you would have observed that sometimes in a kid, he has some uh, features which are exactly similar to his father. He has some features which are exactly similar to his mother. But he also has some features which are like mixed of both or which are not present in any of them. So those new features come up due to the pairing off of the homologous chromosomes during meiosis. So, I mean, if you remember the process of meiosis, then I'm sure you will remember how crossing over and recombination take place in meiosis. If not, we will talk about crossing over in a little while. Whereas on the other hand, if you talk about sister chromatids, so what are the sister chromatids? What the sister chromatids are nothing but when the chromosome duplicates, the same chromosome which I have drawn above. Now, these are the same homologous chromosome. Now, this chromosome will duplicate itself during the S phase, right? So, this is how it will become. So, then these two will be sister chromatids, right? So, these two will be sister chromatids and these two will be duplicated homologous chromosomes. So, there will be homologous chromosomes. So they are still going to be homologous chromosome because they are again of the same size, same shape and everything. So now you understand. So sister chromatids are exact copy of each other. So this chromosome and this chromosome, they are exact copy of each other. 
the values of the alleles, everything has to be exactly identical. So they are sister chromatids. But homologous chromosomes, they are like one is paternal chromosome, one is maternal chromosome. They will have same sequence of genes, but it is not necessary that they will have the same value for those genes. So one, it is just one half of a duplicated chromosome. So one half of it, it is formed during the synthesis phase. Now before the synthesis phase, the chromosome remains unduplicated, somewhat like this. So this change happens during the S phase or the synthesis phase of interphase. So that these are genetically same. So genetically both of these are exactly identical. But if you talk about the homologous chromosome, they are not genetically identical. That's what I was talking about, right? They can be, they can have same alleles, they can have different alleles. So genetically they might not be identical or they can be identical sometimes. But sister chromatids will always be genetically identical. So I'll give you a live example. Let us suppose, like as I said, that inside the human body, all the cells of our body contain a total of 46 chromosomes, right? So 46 chromosomes are nothing but 23 pairs of homologous chromosomes. Now, let us take an example where we can understand that when sister chromatids play a role and when homologous chromosomes play a role. So as I said, the sister chromatids help during cell division. So let us see how they help. So these are the total 46 chromosomes which are present in the human body. So they are basically 23 pairs of chromosomes. So if you look at any one pair of chromosomes, you can actually see two sets of chromosomes being present. So the one set has come from the mother, the other set has come from the father, right? So these, these are homologous chromosomes. Correct? So these homologous chromosomes are present inside a cell all the time. They are present all the time because one is maternal and the other is paternal. So they have to be present all the time. But where are the sister chromatids? Now sister chromatids are not present all the time. Now let us suppose that uh, you get a cut somewhere in your finger. What happens when you get cut? So what happens? Some of the cells, I mean, your body loses some of the cells in that area so your body needs to repair that part so for that what will happen new cells will be formed how are new cells formed by the process of cell division now when cell division has to occur what will happen now whenever cell division has to occur what will happen the chromatin will condense to form chromosomes the chromosomes will duplicate sister chromatids will be formed so sister chromatids will be formed when extra cells need to be formed by cell division so near that wounded area right so cell division will occur the sister chromatids will play their role they will be formed they will again get separated then new cells will be formed so sister chromatids are not going to stay permanently they are going to get created as a part of the process of cell division now once the cell divides the sister chromatids get i mean they get separated or they get they belong to different cells and that is how new cells are formed so sister chromatids are something temporary they will they will be formed during the course of the process and again they themselves will later become the chromosome for particular uh, for a particular cell so they keep coming, keep going. But when you talk about homologous chromosomes, they are always present inside the cell. So the 23 pairs of homologous chromosomes are always present inside the cells of our body. So that is how homologous chromosomes and sister chromatids are different from each other. So I think with this, you have got a fair idea about the structure of chromosomes. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.